Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This video you're about to watch is a lesson from our one hour Salesforce reporting crash course. If you find it helpful and if you wanna see the other lessons, you can see the full course at academy.rotive.io or by clicking the link in the description below. In this lesson, we're actually gonna create a report and we're gonna cover an important concept called report types. So in Salesforce, go ahead and click on the reports tab and then click the new report button near the top. The next thing you're gonna see is a dialog box that asks you to choose a report type. Now report types are an important concept to understand. And in my experience, where people run into trouble with reports and dashboards, the majority of the time, it's because they've chosen the wrong report type. So I said earlier that reports allow you to query the Salesforce database, but it's not possible to query the entire database, all that information at once. It's just too much data. So what we have in between your report and the Salesforce database is a report type, which is simply a selection of the different objects, or the different tables in the database that you want to pull data from. So to give you an example here, we've got a bunch. The first one is accounts. So if you want to run a report, based off data in the accounts object, like company name, industry, mailing address, that sort of thing, that is gonna be available in this report. But you might want to report on something different, maybe opportunities, that's another common one. And so if you wanna run a report on pipeline or closed deals or lost deals, you need to start with a different report type to make sure you have access to that data. When you click on one of these report types on the right hand side, it's going to open up and show you some details. And it's actually going to tell you what objects are being used or referenced within this report. So what data do you have access to across the different tables in the database? You also get a selection of fields here. So you could search ahead of time if there's a specific field that you're looking for to make sure it's available in that report type. It's also possible to hide some of these report types if you don't want other users in the system to have access to it or if it's just clutter. And you can create custom report types too. Most small businesses do not need to create their own report types, but there are certain situations where these standard ones just aren't going to do it for you. And you might have to select which tables in the database you want for your specific report. Thanks for watching that lesson from the one hour Salesforce reporting crash course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, please go to academy.rotive.io or click the link in the description below. And if you found that helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.